What is up, FIFA faithful? Bear Hams here, and welcome to episode 10 of my Leeds United crew mode. And before we get into this Carabao Cup semi-final match against Man City, let's talk about everything that happened off camera. One game off camera, and it is the team that we are going to play in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Uh, just only, I mean, we have Paulson in as a backup, as well as Harrison. The rest of them are starters. I don't know how that's going to fare. And, oh, let's go! All right! Way to squeak that one out as Greenwood with a brace. God, that was such a great signing. Thanks, Just Radius, for that suggestion. Once again, another three-game episode as we'll take on both Manchester sides as we do have Manchester City in both legs of the Carabao Cup semifinal. Then we just have a league match against Manchester United. A couple changes to the lineup. As you can see, Torres over Rodrigo. Then we have Bamford up top with Gakpo. And we also have Zeke at that right-back spot as we do take on Manchester City once again. I don't have the highest hopes against Man City, but crazier things have happened. I mean, the last episode we beat Chelsea. Z Fook does get a cross in, does get ahead to it, but easy catch by Ederson. Across the box, Bamford, yes! Yes! Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Patrick Bamford with the header at the Etihad, we do have a quick advantage straight away. Oh, God. There's a good interception now. The counter begins. Bamford. Oh, runs completely out of space. Easy for Rodri to take it away from him. There's a sliding pass to Jimenez. And there goes the lead straight away. Only took not even 12 minutes. It took eight minutes. So it was well past the Mexican International. We're back to square one. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, what a garbage goal. An absolute, just Oscar the Grouch of garbage goals as Greenwood just spanks it off a of Man City defender. Ederson just doesn't expect the deflection. And it trickles in for our second goal. Through ball. Zifuk able to beat out Cancelo. But coach with a poor pass. This could open things up here. And it will. Jimenez with yet another goal. If we turn over the ball in our own half. Oh, flip pass. Bamford. Yes! Yes! Way to answer back. Bamford with his second goal. He's able to tick the chip pass in, tick the chip pass, take the chip pass in. Into the second half we go. Crazy to think that we are already up 3-2, which was actually the score of the previous game where we beat Man City off camera. Maybe we could do the same here. I think the only key to victory at this point is not giving it up in our own end. There's a through ball, Burpo, centers that through, Torres, tries to tap that through to Greenwood, but will be intercepted, so maybe a chance on the counter. It's Torres. He's making the run <laughs> just to throw some dark blue bodies into the area. Now it's just, oh, that's a good through ball. Great tackle. Brilliant tackle by Coke for Bota Gakpo, who is going to find Nandez that will open up space. Maybe a good pass here. Torres, can he get there in time? Yes, he does. Facundo Torres able to slip it past Ederson. And now we have a two-goal advantage here with just a little more than 20 minutes to go. For a split second, I thought it was going to be Ederson to pick it up. But what a great pass there by Bamford just to lay it off for the Uruguayan left winger playing Cam in uh, replacement for Rodrigo. Desperate for something, we'll eventually find Bernardo Silva. Silva gets a cross in and... Okay, come on. They're going to give him all the time in the world. Okay, this game should be over by now. Look how much stoppage time has occurred as they're going to go far post. Great catch by Melier, and finally, they do blow the whistle, and we do get the 4-2 victory. What a shocker away at the Etihad. It was back and forth through that first half, but then it was Bamford with that third goal, and then it was Facundo Torres with that nice insurance, and now we're just 90 minutes away from the Carabao Cup final. Quick simming the game against Crawley Town after 90 minutes. 
our boys, the backup brigade. Oh. Not to take in any copium, but there were other big teams that lost, including Man City as they lost 2-0 to Swansea. Crystal Palace lost to Charlton 3 nothing. Right, we can just keep going through here as Leighton Orient beat Man United. A lot of those big teams out, we could have had a chance. We got the starters back as we do take on Southampton at St. Mary's. And after 90 minutes on the South Coast, it ends in a draw. Thankfully, Rodrigo getting the equalizer in the 80th minute. Second game of the episode, Manchester United head to Ellen Road. I always like playing Man United just to see how the teams progressed. And at the uh, 10th episode, we've played them a whole bunch of times. Still haven't beat them yet, though we've been closer than that 6-0 start of the save. There's maybe something on the counter here as Bamford, not known for his pace. Trying to get his way past Varane. Good pass there. Gets it out wide to Gakpo now. Centers that through. Maybe a chance here. Bamford all by himself. Bamford shoots, and he scores right at the half-hour mark. We do draw first blood. And it is Patrick Bamford yet again with another goal. Probably assisted yet again by Rodrigo. Now we're just an hour away from finally beating Man United. Sancho gets it taken away by Zifo. Great play by the Dutchman, though his teammate with a poor pass. Ronaldo shoots, scores, does what he does best. There goes the lead and the happy feeling. Now we are in stoppage time. Chance for a shot is deflected, so we will get a corner at least. But the last chance of this opening half is Phillips. Plops one in, looking for Bamford with the header, and it's in! Patrick Bamford with the brace right at the end of the half. A great cross in by Calvin Phillips. Chance for Furpo! Oh, and it's in! Off of the mitts of David De Gea. We have the two-goal advantage now. I don't think Furpo's ever scored, let alone scored on camera. He does take in the pass by Gakbo. Just enough space for him to curl it. Thankfully, De Gea is not on his A game. That does hit off his mitts and goes in. Ronaldo does, yep, found that open space. Able to get that past Melier, so he'll get a brace. So we're just trying to just hold on to possession and kill the game. So we might just do that. Fred gets the ball, and that'll do it. We have finally beaten Man United 3-2. Goodness gracious, Karen Karenson, so happy to finally beat Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. If you're a Leeds fan, don't hurt me for this sale. We have sold Stuart Dallas to Burnley for $5.5 million. He only had one more year left on his contract, and getting that sum of money for a 31-year-old midfielder, I, th I thought it was the perfect time. And plus, he just got done playing the FA Cup. That match against Crawley Town didn't go well. So I think we're going to try to, you know, build for the future, get some more youngsters in the midfield. And uh, Stuart Dallas is just not in the future plans. So best of luck to Stuart as he travels to Turf Moor. So here we are, the main event. Leeds United, Man City in the second leg of the Carabao Cup semifinal. And looking at their lineup, they are not fooling around. We're going to go short. Raheem Sterling gets it taken away, but he'll keep it back because there's a chance for a cross in the box. It is cleared out. Maybe a chance here if we can get the juices flowing. There's a flip pass. Torres with his pace. Able to keep going, but he is getting caught up by Mendy. Has a chance for a shot, though. Takes it, scores right off the counter. It is Facundo Torres who got that fourth goal in the last game of the Carabao Cup. Able to start the scoring here. He's going to celebrate with the Ellen Road faithful. Yeah, it's getting closer to a reality. We might just be in the Carabao Cup final. They have the ball in the box. Shot by Cancelo. That's going to go straight to Kane. And there goes that three-goal advantage. It's down to two. Again, this team is capable. Looking for Paulson. Paulson might just win it if he can just put enough pressure on there. It's Phillips. Won't win the header. And this is more than likely going to be it. Yes! We're going to the Carabao Cup final. A great second leg performance. Facundo got the scoring started, though. Harry Kane did get the equalizer. 
You gotta remember, there was that first game where we destroyed them 4-2. Simulating the home fixture against Chelsea, and we do lose 2-1, mount with the game winner. Though, it is still pretty cool that we were able to get the victory against them at their own house. Man, what a rip-roaring end to the episode, which is already fantastic from the start. We are in the Carabao Cup final. We'll take a quick look at the Premier League table beforehand. As we are currently sitting in seventh, just a point behind Liverpool and only three points behind Chelsea. So that loss off camera eh, hurt a little bit. Though we do have a nice cushion in front of Everton and Aston Villa. So now get to see who our opponent is. And yes, it's Man United, the team that we just beat in this episode. We're going to have to beat them again to win our first silverware. So on that hopeful note, it is time to end. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as you're playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.